Kennedy. She was less than a month old when she um, got her first ear infection. And then it was continual after that, monthly, every couple weeks. Kennedy was unable to speak for about the first two years of her life. And we determined then that it was the ear infection. I would recommend going to a specialist for her ears. This is the way your ear looks on the outside and this is the way your ear looks on the inside. A middle ear infection is a collection of pus right in this area. When you get this pus here, it makes this eardrum come out. As it comes out, that is what gives you ear pain. An outer ear infection, or more commonly known as a swimmer's ear, is when water gets into your ear canal, stays here, and develops an infection on the skin of the ear canal. One of the key features of this particular ear infection is pain when you pull on the earlobe. Ear tubes are used for middle ear infections and not outer ear infections. Since the last set of tubes, Kennedy has not had to do ear drops. She has not had any other ear infections, and everything seems to be normal. Today, I feel really good. I feel proud of myself. I can hear better. Dr. Esparza is really helpful. He just like welcomes you into his office. He makes you feel comfortable. He's really honest with you. He doesn't hold anything back. He's just like, a really great doctor to have. I really recommend him. It is very important to find a pediatrician that you're comfortable with and that understands your family. Thankfully, we found Dr. Esparza.